Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. We are now going to study rational and irrational numbers from a different point of view. We will look at the decimal expansion of real numbers and see if we can use the expansion to distinguish between rational and irrational numbers. We know that real numbers include rational and irrational numbers. But we should know how to distinguish them from each other. Let us take up some examples. Consider a rational number 10 by 3. Let us start dividing it. Numerator by denominator. We get 1. We put a point and carry down 0. Again we get 1. Again, in this case, remainder is always coming out to be 1. Here we also notice that the remainder is repeating after the first stage. And if we keep continuing our steps, we can get more number of 3's in our quotient. In such cases, we say that this expansion is non-terminating and recurring since 3 is repeating itself and we can write 10 by 3 equal to 3.3 .3 and put a bar on the last 3 showing that it is repeating. Let us consider another example of non-terminating recurring number. Consider 1 by 7. If we divide it, we will get 0 0.142857 then again 142857 and so on. It will keep on repeating. Here we can see that 6 numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 numbers are repeating when we were dividing by 7. And we can write 1 by 7 equal to 0 0.142857 and put a bar on it. So here we notice that the number of digits in the repeating string is less than the divisor and here the divisor is 7 and repeating string has 6 digits. Let us consider another number say 7 by 8 and now let us divide it. We take this decimal up and then Eight eights are sixty-four will give us six as the remainder. Now since decimal is already there in the quotient, we can put a zero and now sevens are fifty-six and we get four. Again putting a zero, we get forty. And finally we come to remainder 0. So we can write that 7 by 8 is equal to 0 0.875 
and such numbers are called terminating numbers so till now we have taken up three examples 10 by 3 1 by 7 and 7 by 8 out of which two were non terminating recurring while 7 by 8 was terminating hence we come to the conclusion that the decimal expansion of rational number is either terminating or non terminating recurring we can also say that a number whose decimal expansion is either terminating or non terminating recurring is a rational number so for instance if you are asked whether 5.42 is a rational number or not we can see that it is a terminating decimal expansion hence we will say that yes it is a rational number if we are asked 1.72 and it has a bar whether it is a rational number or not we can say that since it is non terminating recurring hence yes it is a rational number now suppose you are asked whether 3.1415 1415926793 and so on this number is rational number or not the first thing we notice is that it is not terminating and secondly the numbers are not repeating that means it is neither terminating nor non terminating recurring so we can say that it is not a rational number and such numbers are called irrational numbers so we have devised a technique of decimal expansion to find out whether a number is rational number or it is a irrational number so the property of irrational number says that the decimal expansion of an irrational number is non terminating non recurring in other words we can also say that a number whose decimal expansion is non terminating non recurring is irrational number so let us consider pi which is equal to 22 by 7 and if you divide numerator by denominator you can keep continuously dividing and find that neither the number repeats nor the division terminates and hence it is an example of a rational number another example can be root 2 which will give you 1.414213562373 and so on it is also non terminating non recurring hence root 2 is also a irrational number